Hello and welcome to Basic Computer Help. So, you've heard about the NSA's prison program, and you also did a little more research and found out that it's not that hard for people to track your browsing activity and other internet activity. And you would look you're looking for a way to prevent that. Well, there's actually a fairly simple way. It's called onion routing with Tor. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the Tor browser bundle. And that's the easiest to set up on Windows. So when we get to the torproject.org, we'll get to a site like this. All we do is click on the download link, and then we're going to download the full bundle. It's really not that large. I downloaded it to my desktop, and it came in this little executable here, which is a 7-zip self-extractor. When you double-click it, it'll ask you where, you where you would like to extract it from. It defaults to the same folder that the executable itself is located. I also extracted it there and it put Tor Browser folder here. And if we click Start Tor Browser, we'll get the control panel for it. And it will start up. It'll take it a few minutes, so let's skip to that part. And this is the Tor browser. As you can see, this is pretty much a modded version of Firefox. It has a couple add-ons as well. It has the HTTPS Everywhere, which I've disabled for speed in this video. Uh, stop script or forbid script. Or actually, I'm sorry, no script. And of course, you have something called Tor button. Um, what can you do with this thing? Well, you could do a few different things. You could navigate like you would in Firefox. Let's go to my blogging site. It does not really keep much of a history. So you won't have the luxury of autocomplete. As you can see this is my blog. It stopped the advertisements on here because I use Google AdSense and that puts a tracking cookie on your computer and it's blocking that particular tracking cookie so it won't work. A couple of sites that will not work is well whoops, YouTube will not work because Flash is not installed. They do not recommend that you install Flash just because it's very easy to pinpoint where you are when you watch a video. Let's pick any random video. Let's watch we Weather Camera Spider Scares Christy, whatever. And as it loads the page, you'll also notice that it'll say Adobe Flash Player is required for video playback. If you're really going to watch videos, especially on YouTube, just watch it in a basic browser. That's all I do. Now what do I like about, uh, just ignore that, now what do I like about the Tor browser other than a full-on Tor interface? Well one, the Tor browser is just restricted to the Tor browser itself. It doesn't reroute all of your internet traffic. Which is great for me, let's close this, which is great for me as, as you can see I have Skype. And Tor does put a lot of lag on Skype. I talk to people in Europe, so I already have enough pro issues with lag over there. Uh, and at the same time, sometimes, like if I do my banking, it's a lot easier if I come from the same IP address. Pretty much, I can give myself a new identity. It'll close and reopen for some reason. But it'll connect me to a different IP address. And you see my IP address is different again. And let's view the network. With onion routing, I'll go into a more detailed video later. Pretty much what I am doing is I am connecting to other computers. Um, I connect to those computers and I send my internet requests to those computers. 
they'll connect to another computer, send the request to that computer. That computer will go to another computer. It'll pretty much set it up in such a way where tracking it is virtually impossible. Especially with the fact that the middle computers will change. Let's actually find out what this thing sees my IP address is as. Let's search for what's my IP because I can't remember if it's a .com, .org, .net. Okay, what's my IP .org. We're going to go to what's my IP .org. My IP address appears to be the same as it shows there. It'll usually try to keep this the same. So until next time, when I hope to be able to show you how to set up Raspberry Pi with an onion routing. Until then, have a nice day.